Chosen Vessels, what's the deal? It's your main man, Drew Tube, and I'm back at you again with another video. I need each and every vessel to hit that like button, hit that share button, and don't forget to subscribe. Shout out to the Galactic Family, the GCVs, and Drew Nation. Let's get right into it. When narcissists disrespect you, they're really displaying inward frustration because they can't get their way. Um, narcissistic people really thrive off of people doing what they want. They like controlling people and they want to get their way when they can't get you to do what they want you to do. They are going to lash out at you and they're going to uh, be angry, but their frustration and disrespect towards you is only because they can't get their way. All right. Um, they, they're the type of people that when they get mad, because you won't do something for them or they can't get what they want from you, they're going to start to disrespect you and start to talk about you a certain type of way. And they're either going to do that like to your face blatantly or they're just going to do it like indirectly. But either one's not good. So when you notice people that are disrespecting you to your face because you don't do something for them, don't take, uh, don't take it to heart and don't see it as something that you're doing wrong. Just see it as something that this person needs to work on themselves. They're trying to project how they feel onto me and don't let them do it. All right. I would uh, suggest that you don't talk to this person anymore because it's only going to get worse. They're going, they're going to try to overstep your boundaries more. And the more that they try to overstep your boundaries, the, the less that you're going to feel confident talking to this person anyway. And if you're the type of person that doesn't let people talk to them any type of way, if you're the type of person that stands up for themselves and that sets boundaries in the first place, when people overstep your boundaries, uh, you're not going to feel too good about that. And the more you stay around someone like this, you're going to feel like you're selling your soul. So I would suggest that you just cut this person off immediately because there's more people out there in the world and you don't have to deal with people like this. If it's a boss, find a new job. If it's a coworker, don't speak to them anymore. If it's somebody that you live around, don't deal with them anymore. If it's somebody that you know and you're close to, just cut them off. Because the more that you have to deal with them, it's going to be other things that they like, other boundaries that they try to overstep. And like they, they like challenges. They're going to try to force their way on you to see just how far they could go. And the type of person that you are, you'd think that it would stop sooner or later, but it's not. It's not going to stop sooner or later. They're going to keep pushing. They're going to keep trying. They're going to keep seeing what they could get from you because that's just their personality. And that's why they get angry when they don't get what they want because they're used to overstepping people's boundaries, forcing themselves onto people, uh, pushing people over, all right, walking all over people. And they think that this is, uh, this is a way for them to get what they want. But when you don't give them what they want, when you show them that you're not going to let them do this to you, that's when, the, and that's when they're going to start to insult you and they're going to start to um, say bad things to you or about you. And especially it's going to come in, di in forms of disrespect. So they're, all they're doing is displaying inward frustration because they can't get their way. So just because somebody's mad, just because someone's upset, don't give in. Don't let anybody uh, disrespect you. The minute somebody tries to disrespect you, call them out on it. You don't have to get disrespectful back. You don't have to raise your voice or get disrespectful or anything like that. But what I would do is I would just check them on it. Just let them know that you're not going to talk to me this way. And if you continue to talk to me this way, I'm out. Uh, the conversation's over. I'm going to go talk to someone else. Um, I won't work with you anymore. I won't deal with you anymore. Just basically something along those lines that you're just going to let them know that I'm not going to deal with this anymore. Or you could just be quiet, not say anything, and just turn your back and walk away. All right? You could just get, just get real ill on them and just be like, yo, you know what? That's how you feel? All right. And you could turn around and never deal with them again. But the only reason that they're being disrespectful is nothing that you did to them personally. It's something that you didn't do, and they took it personally. All right? Everybody gets upset when things don't work out the way they want, but you, you, it only should go so far. Like somebody may not do something that you want. You may feel some type of way about it. You may even get a little angry about it, but it's not like you start disrespecting the person. You don't take your anger out on the person. You don't show the person that you're upset or angry or frustrated. Like sometimes you may be trying to close a business deal. Sometimes you may be trying to get somebody to do something for you. Sometimes 
you may need somebody to do something for you and they may not be able to do it. They may not, they may can't do it or they just don't want to do it. So you're not always going to get what you want. And the best way to deal with situations like that is just to accept it. But narcissistic people, they can't emotionally regulate. So when they don't get what they want, it comes out in forms of rage. So they'll get angry, they'll slam things, throw things, and it'll come out in forms of disrespect. And sometimes people just have anger issues. They may slam things or throw things, but it's not necessarily to harm another person. It's like this person will probably not even want anybody to know that this is how they act. They'll probably wait till they get by themselves and just like start tearing stuff up. All right. You won't even know that this person has that other side to them. So there's different ways to handle things. And that's, that's not a healthy way either. So if you're one of those people, you still need to learn how to regulate as well. All right. Emotional regulation is key. All right. But narcissistic people, they don't know how to process, um, they don't know how to process how they feel about things. So it's like a mental blockage. It's something that's stopping them. So like a lot of these people, they end up having to go to therapy and get help. All right. Um, you can uh, seek out information. There's information on how to regulate art, right? um, how to regulate your emotions. You just have to detach and you have to distance yourself from the negative emotion. So that way you don't take out how you feel on others. I made a video on that the other day, how to detach and what is detachment. So if you're dealing with that, you should go check that out. All right. Whether you're a, a narcissist or not. All right. Um, you should definitely go check that out. If you're a narcissist, you're probably not watching this channel. But um, anybody that uh, even if you're not a narc or anything like that, if you need to learn how to like, if, if you need to know how to regulate your emotions, that video is a good video for you. It's got a lot of impactful information in there. So I would definitely uh, uh, recommend you go watch that. But as far as what we're talking about now, they get disrespectful. All right. Um, mm -hmm. They try to like run game on people and they try to use that game to try to get what they want from people. But when they're, um, when, when their ego isn't appeased because you're not pleasing them or they're not pleased by your actions, like you told them no, they will get upset because they're used to having people do what they want them to do. All right, they're used to charming people. They're used to like just getting their way when it comes to certain things. And when they don't get their way, they get upset, they get angry, and they take out how they feel on you determining uh, this whatever the situation is. So... You can't take it personally because they took it personally. It's nothing that you did wrong. It's nothing that um, you you have to fix about yourself. It's just them, all right? And when they don't get what they want, they get upset and they treat, they treat people like garbage because of it, because you're not a, appealing to their ego, which is how they view themselves. That's the whole grandiose idea about themselves. They have an idea about themselves. It's like a captain of a football team or something like that. Imagine not treating the captain of the football team like he's the captain of the football team. He'll probably look at you like you're a little off, but it probably wouldn't go further than that. He probably just wouldn't give you any respect. These kinds of people, they have like a idea about themselves where they feel that people are supposed to treat them that way. And when they don't, that's when they lose their, they lose their mind. It, it makes them go crazy because this is the way they see themselves. And when they're not viewed that way, specifically when a person doesn't view them that way, they take it out on that person because it starts to make them realize that they're not the star they thought they were. They're not as special as they thought they were. They're not as unique as they thought they were, as they thought they were. And when you show them that they're not as important and they're just regular, normal, like everybody else, they lose it. They get so mad because it's like their world starts to, to come to an end. It's like it crumbles. It falls apart. So they desperately need this um, validation that they are who they think they are. And most people, when you don't do something for them or when they don't get what they want, they, they get mad sometimes, but they don't take it that far. They don't look at it as, oh, you're not doing this. And now I don't see myself as who I thought I was anymore. Like normal people don't do that. All right. So if you're dealing with someone that is like really like anger, anger or enraged by the fact that you're not doing something the way they thought you were going to do it or it's not happening the way they thought it was going to happen or it didn't go the way they thought it would go 
you should probably start doing things with other people, work with other people, find another job, find another friend, um, talk to another family member, uh, find different people to be around because this type of person is only going to, like, if you stay around them, it's only going to lower your self-esteem and it's going to make you feel bad about yourself and they could possibly further try to manipulate you and make you think that it's something that you did wrong. And if you do stick around them, what they're going to do is they're going to gaslight you to make to definitely make you feel like it's something you did wrong. Because in their eyes, because you didn't do what they wanted or they didn't get their way, they're going to treat you like you did do something wrong. And they're going to start to gaslight you and manipulate you. And until you start to feel bad about not doing what they want. All right. They're going to try to make you feel that it's your fault that they're acting the way they are because they're not getting their way. And that's not healthy for you. All right. So don't let unhealthy people abuse you into thinking that it's something wrong with you. We on fire. When it's something wrong with them. All right. I don't know if you heard that, but I was a fire engine. We on fire. All right. Um, so, yeah, don't let these people disrespect you. They're dealing with inward frustration. All right. Whenever um, whenever somebody challenges who they are, whenever somebody um causes them to have a bruised ego whenever somebody um doesn't validate them they're going to feel some type of way and they don't deal with it regularly because they don't regulate their emotions people who don't regulate their emotions they don't deal with things regularly they're going to get mad they're going to get upset they're going to throw tantrum tantrums they're going to act out in a way that is unprofessional or uh, that is like not normal all right, so that rage could potentially turn into something physical, and most of the time it does. So this is why when you notice that people are getting angry or getting disrespectful because you're not doing something that they feel you should be doing or treating them how they feel they should be treated, right? You should definitely cut them off and bounce because it's only going to get worse. It's only going to get further um, more harsh with these types of people. All right. Most, most people do get upset when you don't treat them how they're supposed to be treated, but they're, if it's a, a, a good person or a person that regulates their emotions or that thinks normally, they're not going to take it out on you in a physical way. It may turn into a verbal altercation. Like, yo, you're not treating me how I want to be treated. You should treat me like this, blah, blah, blah. They'll probably tr try to work it out with you and talk to you about it. Like, yo, when you do this, it makes me feel A, B, and C. You shouldn't treat me like that. And if you continue to, we're not going to deal with each other. That's how people regularly deal with things. That person regulated, they're like, hmm, when they treat me like this, it makes me feel like crap. So I'm going to try to talk to them about it. And if I can't get my way, I'm just going to my separate way. All right. But not these kinds of people. They will harm you eventually or come like come down it will come down to something physical you'll end up possibly having to fight one of these people because you're not doing what they want all right these are the types of people that are like you don't know who i am and you're just like looking at them kind of stupid because it's like yo who are you you know what i'm saying like they think that they're somebody special to everyone even though that they're just you, you see them just as a regular person like you view yourself all right not to say they're a nobody because it's not good to call nobody a nobody but that's kind of like what they make themselves out to be. It's like, yo, you think you're somebody, but I'm not going to say they're a nobody. Nobody's a nobody, but they're not important as they think they are. These people think they are highly super important. It's like they think they're the president of your world. And when you don't treat them like the, the U.S. president of your world, it's like they want to drop a bomb on you uh, or they want to nuke you with their rage or their anger for, for you not viewing them how they view themselves. And it's okay to view yourself in a, a special way. You just don't take that out on other people. So you should definitely go check out that video I made about um, how narcissists view themselves. All right. Um, basically, it just, what I said in the video is that's like the one thing they get right. They just use it incorrectly. You're supposed to view yourself a certain way and you're supposed to associate yourself with how you view yourself in a positive way. But you're not supposed to view yourself in a way to where it becomes harmful to others because they don't view you the same way. A normal person will just keep hustling and keep grinding and keep working on themselves until their view of themselves or how they view themselves comes out in the form of uh, materials, hard work, a car, a home. Like people don't necessarily need people should need you to view them a certain way. It's like if you view you a certain way, you're just going to go out and live your life until you reach that level of success and how you view yourself. You're not going to be angry because other people don't view you that way. 
Like, is it, you don't view me as successful or rich or this or that. I'm going to beat you up because of it. Like, nah, I don't work like that. Even if you, even if you hit somebody upside the head you and, and okay, you're rich. Okay. Okay. It's like, <laughs> you're still not going to be rich unless you work towards that. All right. So you know, everybody has a, a higher or better or more successful version of themselves or view of themselves, but you're supposed to take that out in, in your work ethic. You're supposed to take that out on yourself. Oh, that y'all don't see me how I see me. Cool. No problem. I really don't need you to like, and that's the thing. When a person sees, when a person looks at themselves correctly and views themselves correctly, they don't need anybody else to see themselves how they view themselves. The only person that needs to view them the way they want to be viewed is them. The person that they look at when they see in the mirror, it's like, okay, I'm looking at myself in the mirror. I view myself a certain way, and that's it. Like that's how people who who are choosing success are going about things. But these kinds of people, they view it's like a false identity. It's a facade. They view themselves as this big, successful person. Number one, they're not even there yet. Number two, they're fragile. Number three, they really don't view themselves this way. So it's like, how are you really going to expect people to see you in a way in which you really don't even view yourself? And then on top of that, get upset because that's how they don't choose to view you. They're not viewing you like that because you haven't earned it. People aren't treating you like the king of Scotland because you're not the king of Scotland. You may be in your head, but no one's going to view you that way unless you work towards that and become that. Even still, you got to be respectful for people to even give you respect. But it's neither here nor there because they can't process emotions regularly. They don't think about um, things normally. And they should probably like like anybody dealing with this type of disorder, like they, they should get help. Anybody dealing with any type of disorder should get help. But nobody is going to look at you in a way to where you view yourself unless you are there, unless you are, unless you become that. All right. So that's just is what it is. That's why people will work hard. That's why people will become successful. And still, at the end of the day, it's like me personally, I'm working towards a level of success. If, if I reach when I reach it, when no one if, if no one views me as successful, there we go. I had to replace the, the when and replace the if in the right place. When I reach a level of success, if nobody views me as successful still, I could care less. Because if I reached a level that I feel good about, that I feel some type of way about, you're not going to be able to tell me anything about it anyway. So I'm not going to let you. I'm, you you're not so, ah, I don't care what you have to say. I feel this way. And you can't alter that no matter what you got to say. So. And that's really all it is. But they don't look at things regularly. They don't look at things normally. They don't process things normally. So that's how they view it. It's like, imagine, imagine if that's how it was, if people were working towards things and whatever you're working towards becoming, if people didn't already view you as that, you could just put hands on people. It'd be a crazy world. But yo, some people actually live in that world, aka the narcissist. So it's like, you don't view me yet. And that's really how it is. It's like, bro, you didn't put in any work. Like you're, 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 you're not anybody of importance, not to say you're not important, but you're not important enough for me to have to view you any kind of way. You're nobody's boss. You're not in control of anyone, but everything that we're saying they're not, that's really how they view themselves. So they really take offense and they really get injured when they're not viewed that way. It's like they, they got beef with you because you're not seeing them as what they see they are. They see themselves as successful. They see themselves as a prominent figure. They see themselves as special. They see themselves as unique without actually being those things. All right, it'd be different if they were those things, but that still wouldn't be the proper attitude. But it's like they want to be treated like uh, they want to be treated like uh, somebody that can do something real well and that's good at something and that gets um, admiration. But it's, they're, they're not doing anything. How can somebody admire you for an, an invisible talent? It's like you, it's like your talents and gifts are invisible, but it's like and you and it's like you haven't put in any work, but you're like admire me for becoming this doctor and getting this doctor degree and being a, um, a, 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 a surgeon or something like that. But you're none of those things. What you're not, people aren't going to look at you as. But in their head, they're that, and that's why they need to get help to regulate, to process things, to be able to see themselves for who they truly are. And it's not to say they can't become successful or something, but it's like, you can't expect people to view you in a way to which you're not. And you can't take out how you feel, how you feel on other people because they don't. 
So the reason why they'll disrespect you and they have inward frustration towards you is because you're not looking at them a certain type of way. You're not what you're not giving them is the respect they feel they deserve. They're not getting their way with you. You didn't give them some type of respect. You didn't look at them some type of way. You're not appeasing their ego. You didn't do something that they wanted you to do. You didn't do something for them. Um, something that you guys had going on together and didn't go their way. And now they're ready to like bite your head off because of it. And you have to get away from people like that because they will physically eventually take out how they feel on you because in their mind, this is how things work with the type of person that they are with, 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 with who they are. All right. They're, in their mind, they're like, this is how I am. You're with me. You should already know. Boop. <clears throat> so this is how, like, this is what, like, this is how people end up getting themselves in abusive relationships. It all makes sense now. It's like, how, how do people end up getting in abusive relationships? The person is crazy already because they feel that you should be, you should know who they are. You should know uh, what type of treatment they feel they deserve. And if you don't give it to them, they feel that you already know what's coming. If that ain't crazy, I don't know what is. Well, they should know what else is coming too. Counter punch. Bam. All right. That's what else is coming. So, um, but don't d avoid people like this. And the, the first sign you'll know is when you don't do something that somebody wants and they start to disrespect you. There's only so much um, disrespect a person is going to give before it gets physical, either on your end or their end. Either you're going to get tired of the disrespect and you're going to be around them uh, so much to where they disrespected you so much to where you end up getting angry and getting physical or you're not doing what they want and they're getting upset with you and they're going to get angry and they're going to get physical and neither one is, is productive for um, a mentally healthy individual so if you're a mentally healthy individual as soon as you see somebody is not mentally healthy you need to be stealthy and get the heck up out of there because it's, it's not good for you all right? i don't care how good the person look looks are i don't care how good the love is all right i don't care how how uh passionate it was or how uh, amazing it was all right you'll find somebody else okay um your, your eyes teeth nose and facial features all right and and working ligaments all right are not worth being in a, a negative toxic situation all right just so you could hold on to this love you got or this person you got or this job you got or this family member you got, whoever it may be. All right. There's some people who we related to that act like this too. And it ain't no good to be around them either. You got to cut them off as well, no matter how hard it may be. That's where, that's what tough love is. Okay. So you have to do what's best for you in terms of these situations, because if a person will disrespect you, that shows you the level of respect that they have. Just because you don't do something, or just, just because someone does not do something for you, does not give them the right to disrespect you. They sh you should never be disrespected by a person just because you don't feel like doing something, or you're not uh, down with someone, or you don't, um, you're not feeling what they're, you're not picking up what they're putting down. All right, um, people need to go find somebody that'll do that, or they just need to leave it alone. But these people do not process things regularly. All right, not, not to. It's basically they. You know, they have a mental disorder. You cannot expect someone with a mental disorder to process thing in a something in a mentally healthy way. So if you stay with someone that disrespects you, that that mistreats you, that talks to you bad, that's a sign. All right, that's a sign that is about is, is about to be on and popping. It's about to be on and popping. Ooh yeah, it's about to be on and popping. All right, um and. To avoid having to put hands and feet on somebody because they're trying to put hands and feet on you, just bounce. All right, just leave. You don't have to try to. You know what? I'm gonna show you. It's only it's only gonna keep going back and forth. So if, I mean, if you like that type of toxic love, I know some people out there that do. If toxic love is for you, hey, by all means. But you could possibly end up in in a situation to where you know it don't it don't end up right. You hit somebody the wrong way, boop. It may not wake up. All right. So just a word to the wise. Um, as soon as you notice that somebody is getting a uh, foul mouth or it feels like somebody is evil or you get a weird feeling around someone or you get the feeling that you have to walk on eggshells or you feel the pressure to do something from someone, those are signs that you should just bounce. All right. 
So if, if somebody is, if you feel pressured to do something, you definitely want to get away from that person. If it's not a norm, if it doesn't feel normal to be around them, if you don't feel comfortable telling this person, no, like, I don't want to do this. Like, yo, if I, I feel like if I, I talk to this person a certain way, like something bad's going to happen. That's your body trying to alert you on a spiritual level, on the intuition, on the intuitive level, and let you know that you either need to get rid of, uh, get rid of that job. You need to stop talking to that coworker. You need to stop dealing with that family member. You need to stop dating that person, or you need to stop being friends with that person. All right, so this has been another Drew Tube special. Shout out to the Chosen Vessels. Hit that like button, hit that share button, and don't forget to subscribe for more uh, incredible, awesome videos like this one. All right, uh, they probably uh, will help you stay out of trouble. I'll see you in the next video on the double. Peace, love, and light. We out.